name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good evening, everybody, and you're very welcome to our a time of prayer here for vocations. And we pray for vocations to the priesthood and to religious life. We pray for the married life and the single life also. Today, as we focus on our vocations, we remember the gift that God has given us of life and with each of us, he has a plan. And especially for our young people who are viewing this time of prayer, maybe this will touch their hearts as we sit here in the presence of God in the Blessed Eucharist. We ask him to pour out his blessings on our world and on all our vocations. And for whatever our young people have been called to be, we ask that God will guide and strengthen them to be the best version that they can. And so we have our opening prayer. Let us pray. Jesus, our good shepherd, bless all our parishes with priests, deacons, men and women in religious life, consecrated life and missionaries to the single life and to marriage, according to the needs of the entire world, which you love and which you save. Assist our priests and all who live a consecrated life. Guide the steps of those who have responded generously to your call and are prepared to receive holy orders and profess their vows. Look with love on our young people and call them to follow you. Help them to understand that in you alone can they attain complete fulfillment. To this end, we call on powerful intercession of Mary, the mother and model of all vocations. We beseech you to sustain our faith that the Father will grant what you command us to do. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And we take a lovely little hymn Christ be near at either hand and if you know it you can sing it along with me Christ be near at either hand Christ behind before me stand Christ with me wherever I go Christ around above below Christ be in my head and my Christ within my soul enshrined Christ control my wayward heart Christ abide and ne'er depart Christ my life and only way Christ my lantern, night and day. Christ my unchanging friend, guide and shepherd to the end. That is taken from St. Patrick's breastplate and reminds us of having Christ surround us. And that's what we're doing here this evening. We're asking Christ to surround our world our church in a particular way, in all the vocations. And especially as we know, there's a huge need of vocations to the priesthood and religious life right across the world. And especially in so-called developed world, in Europe, North America, in Australia, and in other parts, there is a, a huge uh, shortage of young men and women who are taking up the call to follow him. So we pray that God will put into the hearts and minds of many of our young people the idea of a vocation and that they will hear that call, that they will follow his way and become the best versions of themselves, a version that God wants them to be. As we gather here from Wexford in Ireland, we're very conscious of all who are in need of our prayers we pray especially for those whom we bring before us here this evening. And we ask God to be with them and to strengthen them on their journey. I'd like to take a psalm, if I 
could now stand number 121, 121. I will keep myself chaste for you. I will meet you, the bridegroom, carrying a bright, shining lamp. They filled me with joy when they said, we will go up to the house of the Lord. Now that our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city, whole and self-contained. There the tribes have gone up, the tribes of the Lord. The witness of Israel to praise the Lord's name. For there are set the thrones of justice, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, safely for those who care for you. Peace inside your walls, security within your ramparts. For my brethren and those near to me, I will say, peace be upon you. For the sake of the house of the Lord, our God, I will call blessings upon you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I will keep myself chaste for you. I will meet you, the bridegroom, carrying a bright, chilling lamp. As we listen to that psalm, we hear God calling us to be chaste, God calling us to follow him to be with him in Jerusalem and right throughout the world. Again, we ask God to touch the hearts and minds of our young people, that they will hear his call, that they will heed his call, and that they will take up that simple message to follow him, follow Jesus all the days of their lives. And may God help us in our vocations, whatever our vocation is in life, to the religious life, to the single life, to married life or priesthood, that he will help us and strengthen us to be the best version of ourselves. From Pastoris Baba Vobis, the great document of John Paul II, even for the formation, and again, the four elements of formation, to personal life, to prayer life, to the academic life and to the pastoral life. Use those four areas. And again, that goes for, I think you can really put it into all vocations. We need to have a sense of all. We have to look after ourselves, both physically, both spiritually, both academically. And then where does that lead us to? To go out and do something. So Lord Jesus Christ, you promised always to give your church shepherds in faith. We know your promise cannot fail. Trusting in the power of the Holy Spirit at work in the church, we pray you raise up sacred ministers for your holy people, that the sacrifice in which you give your body and blood may be daily renewed in the world until we come to the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Again, that's when we contemplate life, we have to contemplate death, and what happens after death. In priestly ministry, that is something you come across on a very frequently base, a frequent basis depending on the parish you're in. Sometimes you might have a number of funerals in a week, and it's how do you connect with families? How do you connect families to God? And again, how do we connect our loved ones who have gone before us? We also have to connect then also with those who are born, the baptized, those who we are baptizing, and especially in parts of the world where the RCIA, the ritual for uh, Christian adult in initiation. It's important for us to be connecting with people and showing them the way to God. 
the great patron of priests. He used to be the patron saint of parish priests until some years years ago when Pope Benedict the Sixteenth or Emeritus Pope made him patron saint of all priests, not just parish priests, but for all priests. On his way to Ars in France, he met a young boy just outside the town and he said, the village, he says, show me the way to Ars and I'll show you the way to heaven. I think that sums up the vocation, the priesthood. Our job is to show people the way to heaven. And sometimes that can be difficult some people aren't willing to listen. And there's nothing we can do about that. It was the same in Christ's time. Let's not forget, he died on the, Christ, on the cross because people weren't listening, because some refused to accept his message. So that's the same today, it hasn't changed. People still refuse to take God's message for what it is, his message and not just some human thinking. So as we contemplate on God's great message for us this evening, as we sit here in his presence, we ask him to strengthen us to be the greatest followers of him. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, Remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. God chooses those whom he wills. Let us pray to the Lord to send forth workers into his vineyard. Lord, we trust in you. As you called Abraham to be the father of many nations, inspire young people to answer your call. Lord, we trust in you. As you call Moses, tend the flock of Jericho. Provide worthy pastors and priests to be to the flock of our day. Lord, we trust in you. You called Aaron to serve your temple. Call young men to serve your church as the image of Christ. Lord, we trust in you. As you spoke to awake Samuel with your call, open the ears of those you have chosen to follow you. In whatever that vocation may be, Lord, we trust in you. You call the apostles to be the ambassadors of Christ. So send us fervent religious, ready to transform and to become like many who've gone before them. Lord, we trust in you. As every high priest, we take from among men, so call young men to offer their lives in the holy sacrifice that you have prepared for them. Lord, we trust in you. As Elijah was anointed by the prophet Elisha, give those you call strength to follow you her, her body to be. Lord, we trust in you. We pray for those who are called to the single life. 
that they will give the time freely for the benefit of their parishes and the communities in which they live. Lord, we trust in you. We pray for those who are called to the married life, to husbands and wives, that they will pour out their lives in the rearing of their children to make them worthy of whatever occasion you have set forth for them. Lord, we trust in you. We pray for the, our religious leaders, especially Francis, our Pope, and all the bishops, the successors of the apostles, that they will take that position that they have in the church for the service of all. Lord, we trust in you. We sum up these prayers by offering up a decade of the rosary now, and we offer it up for all vocations. As we sit here in your presence, Lord, we ask the greatest of your followers, of course, our Blessed Lady, who is there with you in heaven, to guide and strengthen us as we adore you in your wondrous presence. Our Father, who art in heaven, be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell and lead all souls to heaven and especially those in most need of your mercy remember O most gracious virgin mary that there ever was it known that anyone who fled to your protection implored your help or sought your intercession was left unaided inspired by this confidence i fly unto thee o virgin of virgins my mother to thee thee i come before thee i stand sinful and sorrowful O Mother of the Word Incarnate, despise not thy petitions, but in thy clemency, 
hear and answer us. Amen. We'll just take a moment of silence now as we contemplate the great work that our Lord does in our lives and as we pray for him for whatever our own intentions may be this evening as we add them to the intentions and the prayers that have already been said and especially for vocations in our world at this time. litany or a litany for vocations Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy Christ hear us Christ graciously hear us God the Father of heaven have mercy on us God the Son Redeemer of the world have mercy on us God the Holy Spirit have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, have mercy on us. Holy Mother of God, have mercy on us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, have mercy on us. Holy Angels and Archangels, have mercy on us. Saint Joseph, Protector of the Holy Church, have mercy on us. Saint John Mary Vianney, patron saint of priests, have mercy on us. Saint Louis Gonzaga, patron of youth, have mercy on us. Saint Aloysius Liguori, patron of vocations, have mercy on us. Saint Charles Borromeo, patron of seminarians, pray for us. Saint Maria Goretti, patron of teenagers, Pray for us. Blessed Conception de Lamour, pray for us. Venerable Felix of Jesus Rochier, sir, pray for us. Christ, eternal High Priest, send Lord labours to your vineyard in your mercy. Lord, send labours into the vineyard in your goodness. Send, Lord, labours to your vineyard for the fervent prayer and sacrifice of this your holy orders. Send, Lord, labours to your vineyard for the priestly people. Send, Lord, labours to your vineyard for the per process of holiness in all families. Send, Lord, labours to your vineyard for priests and religious in salvific solidarity, God's people. Send, Lord, labours to your vineyard 
for the infinite grace of the holy sacrifice of the Mass. Send, Lord, into your harvest for the, for the youth and for the discerning God's will in their lives, Lord, of the harvest, hear us. For the youth, so that they hear the call and give their lives for the mission of the church, Lord of the harvest, hear us. For those called to religious and priestly life, so that they may be able to answer graciously, Lord of the harvest, hear us. For all religious and priests, so that they will live a joyful vocation, Lord of the harvest, hear us. For all of us, so that we commit our prayer and this time for vocations, Lord of the harvest, hear us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, O Lord. Lord, as we sit here in your presence, we ask you to hear our prayers, those that we have spoken out loudly, those that are, are in our minds, those that are in our heart. We ask you to hear all these prayers and to grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady gave us that lovely prayer, the Magnificat, or yes, our faith to God. So we say it together. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Rejoice so highly favored. The Lord is with you. That God has shown you his favor. The world shall call you blessed and ponder on my story. In me is manifest God's greatness and his glory. For those who are his friends and keep his law as holy, his mercy never ends and he exalts the lowly. But by his power the great, the proud and self-conceited, the kings who sit in throne are humbled and defeated. He feeds the starving poor, he guides his holy nations, fulfilling what he swore long since in revelation. Then glorify with me the Lord who is my saviour, one holy trinity forever and forever. That's a different form of the Magnificat. It's the Lord Magnificat. And it's a beautiful one that captures Mary's yes. So today then, as we conclude our time together, we ask Our Lady to hear our prayer. Hear the prayers that we have brought before you, Lord, this evening. Through the intercession of Our Lady, through all those saints that we mentioned, those of our patron saints of our own parishes. We ask them to help people discern the vocation he is calling them to, that they will be faithful to it for life. And so we conclude our time of prayer together. I thank you for joining me here from Wexford in Ireland. I will continue to pray for you, and especially for our young people who are viewing this this evening. May, as St. Catherine of Siena put it so beautifully, if you are what you should be, you'll set the world on fire. And as St. John Mary Vianney said, show me the way into your life and I'll show you the way to heaven. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as a memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of the body and blood Help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. 
Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious, precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. And blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. May the Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. God bless you all and thank you for joining us this evening for this time of prayer on Shalom TV.